Hey, YouTube. Shall go for here. So, uh, excuse me, I crack open a beer, but it's time for the one year update of uh, mining Bitcoin with solar. So let's get a. Uh, you got the solar panels there. See them? Nothing's changed since my last video. Well, a few things have changed. So let's talk about that. Uh, it's actually been about 13 months now since my system has been online maybe 14 we've traveled to Wisconsin in that time and back we spent the summer working in Wisconsin and uh, obviously the, the solar panels and the miners stayed here now why does anybody give a shit about us going to Wisconsin well first off think about it uh, the RV is over there and we are, I am, I am Wi-Fi into the uh, the hut over there where the router is and the uh, Bitcoin miners. So my connection is lightning fast, even though it's Wi-Fi and it's going through a cinder block wall and uh, going through the wall of the RV. Comparatively speaking, it's really fast. It's essentially the same as if you were plugged in. So we're spoiled here at the moment. But when we got to Wisconsin, uh, I was still able to interact with the machines here. And... Uh, here, I'm running tight VNC as a, uh, a server. On my laptop in Wisconsin, I was running tight VNC client. That was pretty good. Uh, the thing that was sort of a little dodgy or a little iffy was, obviously, I've got a faster download speed than I do an upload speed. So, in Wisconsin, I had to sort of think a step or two ahead of uh, what I was trying to accomplish and not rush things because uh, I could over-mouse the screen and wind up waiting for something to get sent or happen or refresh. And uh, I didn't want to run the risk of, like, you know, having something along the way lock up. So, uh, uh, slow and steady. Uh, now, the thing I realized, I did this once in Wisconsin here, and that is I pushed an upgrade, and uh, I don't think that's prudent. I, I won't do that again. Nothing happened. But uh, the funny thing is this, I, about upgrades, I feel like if you're going to upgrade your software that you need to figure and count on maybe another 12 hours to 24 hours after the upgrade to sort of work out the, uh, the bugs and uh, do your bench, uh, benchmarking and stuff like that and then figure out what algorithms you can no longer run on your GPUs or CPUs or ASIC devices. So once you sort of weeded out the... Uh, the algorithms that you can't run and you've got your machine back up and running and uh, you don't have to worry about temperature spikes or parameters for your GPUs or anything that didn't get reset during the uh, upgrade, then you can get back to business. Well, as I said, that's, and sometimes that can be 12 to 24 hours later. So uh, in hindsight, I shouldn't have risked pushing an upgrade from Wisconsin. I should have waited till I was here. And then, in fact, I have been doing that. I've been waiting. I've been upgrading periodically as the software changes. But the thing I realized is it's not always advantageous to be chasing the, uh, the, the uh, bloody edge, as we called it, or the bleeding edge, as we called it back in the computer day. And that was uh, the idea of always having to stay up to date and uh, cutting edge. And uh, to what degree you know if you have your uh, machines offline for uh, even a few hours the pennies that you may make uh, up here or there in the way in, as far as the difference goes may not justify having your machines off for that long so just something to think about now in my own case getting back to the whole idea of mining with solar if I had done nothing and had just sold the power to the power company I would have made about three grand but between uh, consuming the power on site at a uh, wholesale level and uh, using that power to power my, uh, my computers, I made uh, more like five and a half grand. So I made about two and a half grand additional with the computers and all that, uh, which puts my rate of return at just under two years. And part of that is because I was buying a lot of my uh, GPUs uh, at the height of the mining season back there in January and February of 2018. Anyway, so that's about all I've got. Uh, would I do it again? I might do it slower. I might drag things out. I might uh, 
obviously wait for uh, the price of the GPUs and stuff to, uh, to fall, which they have. But, uh, you know, my rigs are basically maxed out now. Uh, one thing I would do in hindsight is I would buy a larger SSD drive. And that's, uh, I've got, I think, a 60 gig in there. I would probably go with 100 or 120. And that's just because uh, my paging file at time gets pretty big. And uh, the, uh, the GPUs are writing temp files to, uh, to that area that, again, is pretty big. So I run into situations where I'm always sort of on the verge of running out of space. So I go th have to go through and weed out fonts and, you know, 3D paint and stuff like that. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. If you have any problems or questions with your, uh, your Bitcoin stuff and uh, need thoughts, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, do me a favor and subscribe. Talk to you later. Shellco4out.